Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here, so much at 99. And today we're doing a self-love and sensual love of the Divine Feminine. So we're going to look at her self-love at the moment, where she is on that. And we're going to look at some sensual messages about the way she's feeling about her Divine Masculine right now. I want to thank you all for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. Please don't forget to press the like button. Please subscribe to my channel so more people can get to see the videos. And when I get to 2.5 thousand, there will be a giveaway to two people of a deck or a reading of your choice. As a big thank you. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. So let's have a look at where the Divine Feminine is at right now. With her self-love energies. We've got resistance here. Protection. Patience. Self-reflection. Surrender. Attraction, the path, realisation, power, abundance, beginnings and blossoming. So beautiful energies here. I feel the Divine Feminine has really gone through this awakening process. She's really, you know, coming to her own realisation of her own power. But there has been resistance to this. The first, very first card is resistance. So I feel that there was some resistance to change here. There was some resistance, you know, possibly when you went into separation from your soulmate or twin flame. Obviously, that's not something that you want to happen when you love somebody. You want to be with them. You don't want to be apart from them. So there could have been some resistance to this energy. So why is resistance here? We've got... The death card. So yeah, that is that ending, isn't it? That ending of that cycle, that ending of that situation. And you didn't want that to end. You know, no matter how, you know, it wasn't actually satisfying you or nurturing you at that time. You know, you had that. There could have been some codependency issues there. You wanted that connection. But after death comes a new rebirth, a new beginning. And the next energy is protection. So I do feel you've very much been protected in this period of separation. You've been protected by your guides, your angels, for, the, for this divine connection. Because you needed to do that work. They've been guiding you, protecting you through this process. To really help you do that work on yourself. To do that inner work. To do that deep cleansing, that deep healing work. Wow. And we've got the Ace of Cups. So that to me is that self-love. You're coming into that energy of beautiful self-love. And when you're in that energy of self-love, you won't accept less for yourself. You will only accept the best for yourself. And you're also in a better position to, to truly love another fully because you've, you've filled up your own cup. Your own cup is full. And, you know, you are equal with somebody who's also filled up their cup. And you've had to learn the lesson, lesson of patience here. There's had to be a lot of patience here in this period of separation. In, and patience with yourself, you know, patience with yourself, to not be hard on yourself, to be in that energy of self-love, to really, you know, trust in your guides, your angels, and really be patient with yourself, with that work you needed to do, that healing work you needed to do, because it's different for everybody. <clears throat> and we've got four of pentacles. So, yeah, you know, there was a lot of, you know, there was a lack of sharing, there was holding on because, you know, there was fear there, I feel, on both sides. Fear of letting go, fear of really opening up to each other at that time. So you needed to do that work. You needed to do that inner work. And we've got self-reflection. So I feel you really have done that. You've really dived deep. You've really looked at your own motivations and motives. You've really gone deep within to really get to know yourself. You know, what is it that you truly desire? What is it that you want in a relationship? What is it you want from a partner? And we've got that Nine of Pentacles energy. So that is coming into your own in that independent energy. To be self-reliant. To be financially stable in your own energy. To be happy in your own energy. And we all need to learn that. We all need to learn to be independent and come out of codependent issues and behaviours and be happy on our own because at some point in your life you will be on your own and we've got surrender so you have learned to surrender okay control to the divine and we've got king of wands energy here so this is fire energy 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of you could be fire signs or you're just in that energy. This is somebody that is mastered something. They're powerful. They're in their own energy. And we've got the, the Leo, the lion there. We've got that strength energy. So you come into your own. You come into that strength. And we've got attraction here. And you're realising your own self-worth, I feel. You're realising what that attraction is between you and your masculine. And we've got the moon card. So that's that feminine energy. And a lot of this could be hidden, you know, could have been hidden under the surface. And you've had to dive deep, as I say, to go to the dark side, to go within. And we've got the next card is the path. So you're on your path. You're on your spiritual path, you know, to enlightenment. <clears throat> <clears throat> so why is Paul here? We've got eight of swords, so you're very much up in your head, okay, you're really stuck up in your head and you needed to get into your feelings more and you've had that realisation that you need to get that balance within you of, you know, heart and mind to come into that balance and we've got Six of Swords energy. So you're moving away from past behaviours, past negative patterns and moving forward, okay, to leaving all that behind you. You've done that work. You've done that healing on yourself and you're coming into your own power here. We've got full moon energy. We've got a powerful new moon this week and the full moon is the culmination of that. So set your intentions out there. What is it that you want to manifest for yourself? And again, we have the strength card here again. So you're very powerful. OK, know that you are powerful. You can create your own reality here. OK, you have that strength. You have that belief that and you can take that action. Because you know that you deserve abundance and you will have an abundant life. This is what you're trying to manifest for yourself. OK, why is abundance here? Yeah, four of cups. So you feel there was a lost opportunity in love here and you're wanting that abundance for yourself and you're wanting a new beginning here. And we've got the lover's energy. So that is soulmate, twin flame energy here. OK, so this is a very powerful connection and you're wanting that beginning, that new beginning. And we've got blossoming. I feel that you can really help each other to blossom, to come into your own, to really help each other. And you're both each other's wish fulfillments here with the nine of cups we've got forward movement here communication with the eight of wands energy here any other message so there will be communication and movement forward here i feel Anything about the eight wands, please? Anything about the eight wands? Yeah, page of swords energy. So I feel that your masculine is watching you or you're watching them online. They're keeping an eye on you. And they see you very much as in that Queen of Cups energy, that loving, nurturing person. This came up in the masculine's reading as well. And, you know, they're wanting to move forward in this connection with that Queen of Cups. So what emotions has the feminine been going through? So you're really, you know, you've been nostalgic, you've been thinking about those times that you shared with your masculine here. You're missing that sensuality in your life. You want that sensuality with a partner, but you're feeling good right now. You're in good self-esteem and you're in that energy of forgiveness. You're forgiving yourself. You're forgiving your masculine and anyone else who you feel has wronged you. And you're in that optimistic, hopeful energy. And you can see she's holding the full moon energy there, like the power card. You're in your power. So what self-love energies do we have? So we've got inspiration. So I feel that you really want to be an inspiration to others. You've learned a lot on your journey. You know, you're still learning and you want to inspire others. You want to help them move forward in their lives. And we've got enchantment. <clears throat> You know, you feel that you were captivated, you're enchanted by your masculine, but it does trigger you to do that work on yourself, to do that work, to reinvent yourself in some way. And you're, you're in that energy of self-love, you've got that self-care, you're really starting to take care of yourself, to love and nurture yourself. 
and you want a resurrection you want to have a renewal of this connection you want to have a rebirth and you want to create you know you could be very creative right now you know you could be very much working with your creativity and i feel some of you want to create with your masculine as well and you're determined to have that abundant that successful life for yourself and yes you've been through healing or you're going through healing and we've got another lion so this shows to me that you are very strong okay you may not think you are but you do have that inner strength okay you have that that really fiery deep passionate strength here <clears throat> so how else does a feminine love herself so she is looking at the world in a whole new way and she loves to tell stories she thinks she's good at passing on information and she feels the magic within her. She may have uh, received some gifts or had an awakening to some of her spiritual gifts. And she feels blessed that she's been, you know, been blessed in so many ways with various talents. And she wants to share that. And she loves being able to help people. She wants to really help people that need help in some way. And yes, that creativity. She loves to be creative. You know, she wants to be creative and share her gift with the world as well. So what does she want to say to her masculine? My feelings for you scare the shit out of me. Does it get you horny now and I stroke myself to your photos and call your name as I orgasm? So a lot of sensual desire. I don't want you to date anyone else. You're mine. So she doesn't want him with anyone else. She just wants him for herself. I'm sorry I haven't told you I love you. So what sensual desires? So we've got fun and laughter togetherness. She wants this fun and laughter and just being happy in each other's company. She wants her masculine to kiss and lick her all night to really please her. She wants him to tell her what he wants her to do to him. She wants to, them to ravage each other all night. And she just loves him. She loves me some of him. She just loves her masculine. She wants him to undress her, to kiss her neck, to be really sensual. And there are deep, deep feelings here, deep emotions. So what else does she want to say? I desperately want to talk with you, but I don't know what to say after ghosting you for so long. I am jealous. I admit it. You attract lots of attention and I feel intimidated by it. With one smile, I was weak at the knees. She took my breath away, just one look. So there is that intense desire. It's a mutual desire. I was foolish to ignore you. Just when I was ready to reply, you got angry, and then I didn't know how to respond. So <clears throat> we saw that in the masculine's reading. If you check that, there was anger there, and possibly on both sides as well. So let's look at some self-healing. So believe it, if anything is possible. So you're starting to believe that, setting your intentions, appreciate your life, be in that energy of gratitude. The more grateful we are, the more we attract to be grateful for. Rise above like the phoenix, overcome your problems. We saw that with the Six of Swords energy. Move away from the past and use crystals for healing. And, you know, you will really benefit from that. So your final shaman message is the owl. So let's get your message. <coughs> Look around you. Notice every detail. Find the hidden messages brought to you by the owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to your friend who shows you, you have what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facets of the diamond without judgment. Remember the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the part of you that do, you do not want to recognise. Do not be afraid of the truth as it will become your compass. So, yeah, I feel it's just saying that you and your masculine, you do mirror each other, the good and bad aspects. So you've really helped each other in this process to, to heal and grow and become who you're truly meant to be. So there are your messages, sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care. Bye for now.